everything now happens in real time, concurrently, and not just on your website, in your organization. We want the browser to get what it needs before it actually needs it, right? And then things are going to be much faster. If there's, if there's something like a part of the hardware that most web developers are, are pretty unfamiliar with that they need to be familiar with, it's how the GPU works. And it's, it's so important to, to kind of learn how, how that all comes together. Why should you optimize your CSS? Um, the thing to keep in mind is your CSS is one of the first things the browser loads. OK, the start test button didn't show up until 1.3 seconds. I can figure out what was it waiting for. Oh, yeah, the actual graphic for the start button. Go figure. What we want to do is look at that user and see what we can optimize to increase the engagement of that user. We're not just talking about network anymore. We're also talking about your rendering time, how your page is being laid out, how your GPU is handling the rendering of your pixels on your screen. And also for really intensive applications, you have to worry about your compute performance as well, right? What is your JavaScript doing under the hood? Are you actually optimizing your array accesses? How many garbage collection events are actually eating away at your layout time on your page? Everything has been tailored for the fastest possible experience. By adding 160 kilobytes to a page on mobile, we saw a 12% increase in bounce rate. I'm going to talk a little bit about why systems don't fail. Fundamental idea here is resilience. We're going to tell you about the scientific basis of resilience. Put aside DevOps, put aside Agile, put aside um, any other sort of best practices and methodology and all of those things. Are you willing to be blissfully unaware of what could make you more money? Uh, if you haven't built this stuff yet, uh, this may blow your mind.